a nondescript office building in downtown San Francisco may seem like an unlikely headquarters for one of the world's most prominent virus hunters. But it's where Stanford University biologist Nathan Wolf has set up his war room to monitor and study new and potentially deadly viruses emerging around the globe. It looks like we're going to release an Ebola finding on Monday. The 41-year-old Wolf is the founder and director of the Global Viral Forecasting Initiative. The mission sounds simple, but it's not. Detect pandemics and stop them before they spread. How Wolf and his team do that is a mix of high-tech detective work and old-fashioned on-the-ground epidemiology research. And it's the subject of his new book, The Viral Storm, The Dawn of a New Pandemic Age. I sat down with Wolf in his office. What we're looking at is this interface between human and animal populations. And we're trying to basically catch the really early stages of these pandemics, the moment at which, frankly, the pandemic is born or an epidemic is born. Wolf and his colleagues have been trekking through dense jungles in West Africa and parts of Asia, studying the close interactions between humans and the animals they hunt and eat. The unhygienic conditions in which the bushmeat, or wild game, is captured, prepared, and eaten allows blood, bodily fluids, and viruses to pass between hunter and prey. We've been working, say, in parts of Central Africa for over 10, 12 years, just working with these populations year in and year out. And we're able to document this sometime, literally to watch these viruses as they're jumping over from animals into human populations. We see novel retroviruses, so viruses that are in the same broad family as HIV, moving over into these hunters from animals that they've hunted. Wolf's team has collected more than 200,000 blood and tissue samples from animals, hunters, and their families in Africa and Asia. Field labs Wolf describes as viral listening posts. Those samples are continuously analyzed by scientists for signs that new pathogens are crossing over to humans. The significance of Wolf's work is reflected in the organizations supporting him, the Department of Defense, Google, the National Institutes of Health, and the Skoll and Gates Foundation.